Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetria Solar video, and in this video we are going to be looking at a successful split phase conversion of a version 10.3 inverter. Before I get into that, of course, GenetriaSolar.com. That is where you'll find conversion kits such as this. Replacement parts for your power jet converters, power jet converters themselves. And um, also 833 Genetry. Toll-free Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Please keep in mind that my call volume is substantial right now. I'm getting a lot of calls, lots of texts, lots of emails. Um, I'm even getting uh, letters in the mail. I mean, it, it's truly that serious right now. So, uh, anyway, we have here a successful split-phase conversion. And this is one of those things... There's a couple reasons why I want to share this with you. You guys already know that I've done this conversion in the past, but I wanted to share a couple things with you. Um, and basically, if you do uh, want to convert your non-split phase inverter, and if you've purchased an inverter recently, uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be split phase, but you still have a split phase transformer. Um, if you uh, want to make the conversion, and I understand it's extra money, I get it, and there's nothing I can do about that. I wish I could hand this stuff out for free, but every time I uh, sell one of these, I have to pay PowerJack. We all know that. I pay them cost, so that is why I actually have to charge for these things. But anyways, so uh, it is more money, I understand, but you can successfully convert your inverter to split phase as long as you have a split phase transformer i've already made that clear and uh, you can always check that by seeing how many wires are coming off your transformer in this case i have a red yellow and black wire coming off so i have an l1 a center tap and then an l2 technically they call l2 an n but anyway power jack so uh yes we have converted uh this inverter but uh, the other reason I wanted to show you is this is actually a board that was returned to me. And I wanted to show you um, that the board, in fact, does perfectly and properly work. Um, the important thing is to follow all the steps and make sure you're doing it correctly. Uh, if you're not going to follow the steps precisely, then you may risk damage to the inverter, it not working properly, or anything else. It can go wrong. So you want to make sure that um, you follow all the steps. I do have a video. I'm going to reshoot that video, by the way, because there are some parts that could be a, a little more clearer, or I can slow down in some parts, so I will in the future. But uh, this particular inverter here has actually had a uh, charging system removed. So I have absolutely no charging ports of any kind, no ATS or nothing customer does not want the charging so I completely removed it it simplified the install it made the install easier and you can actually reuse uh, the wires that come with it without the additional wiring needed in fact um, uh, as far as everything is concerned you have um, two connectors that you got to make these ring terminal connectors that you have to make but uh, you actually save some wire here in the end. This is uh, the input wire that you can use for the front connector if needed. Here's another input wire. You got some extra wire there that you can use. Um, everything you need is, is right there. And so, yeah, you can see that this uh, inverter is producing a true sine wave, 180 degrees out of phase. That's L1 and L2 there, perfectly 180 degrees out of phase and uh it's not doing too bad so uh there you have a successful conversion um this inverter will need the uh, fan harness in order to complete this basically what you do is you're basically uh taking a harness you can actually do it two ways this red and or excuse me this orange and blue wire here is actually the manual fan controls but if the new board, um, it just depends on the board, if the new board is not capable of controlling this fan right here, then you basically have to do the manual override, which is as simple as shorting these two connectors out. I'll get a screwdriver here real quick to demonstrate. By the way, don't reach into your inverter 
None of this stuff while it's running. I know exactly what I'm doing. So I know what's safe to touch, what's not safe to touch. There's a lot of voltage in here. Just don't do what I'm doing. This is absolute demonstration only. But basically what I'm doing is I am shorting out the 48 volt connector if I can hold the screwdriver in there. Which is then powering the fan. Simple as that. So in a sense, you're, con you're moving that fan switch down there and connecting it with that. So the fan switch operates. It will operate your fan even if the inverter is off. So keep that in mind. It'll drain your battery if you don't turn it off. Uh, no automatic fan controls there. So anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. Genitrysolar.com. You can find the conversion kit there as well as the Wi-Fi boards, um, spare parts, replacement parts, everything. Everything is there for you to purchase. If you want to make this conversion, we now have a true sine wave inverter. Here is true split phase, true everything, and this is an inverter that is now ready for duty. Any questions, let me know. Thanks again for all of your support. Hopefully you're staying safe out there. Hopefully you're staying healthy. And, um, yeah. Take care.